You know, just daily just kind of staying in the training room after practice, maintaining uh, what I've been doing and just kind of pushing. And I know some days are going to be a bit tougher than others, but, you know, Rail is kind of working with me, you know, just making sure that each day I'm taking a step forward, step forward, step forward, can't ever go back. What's the hardest part about that? Um, kind of honestly, just getting back into playing football because, you know, toured in October, so about 10 months since I'd ever I played football, football. So that first practice was pretty tough. And then uh, after that, that kind of initial shock, it just kind of felt like my first spring ball when I first got here. That initial shock, all right, that's what it is. We're playing football. That's what it is. What is that feeling like, that initial shock when you come back after the time? Like it's tough. It's tough on the body. You know, you just kind of have to roll with the punches and progress and try to get better at one little thing, whether it's your hand placement or something like that, your conditioning, any of that. You just kind of have to make sure that you're continuously getting better each day. Um, you know, it, it really wasn't a whole lot to go off of. You, I wish I would have had some more film to put out there, but uh, I felt confident. You know, I got those first game jitters out, and it, me and Turner were kind of talking about how we were kind of lucky to play so early, and then just get those first game jitters out of the way, those first starts out of the way, so that now I can just kind of roll back in like nothing really ever happened. You know, I don't have to worry about, oh boy, it's my first start. And it's just, it's just kind of good to get the, all that stuff out of the way first. So when you get that spot against Michigan, what's the level of frustration that kind of feel like you start making it for yourself? Yeah, I, it, it was tough, you know. Uh, I wasn't really planning for that, but, you know, everyone ever that gets that injury, they're never planning for it. ACLs really don't do much unless, you know, you're tearing them. So it was uh, kind of just leaning on my teammates a lot. You know, they kind of got me through that, through that whole process because you kind of feel isolated. You're, they're all moving forward with the season and you're kind of stuck. You got to do your own thing. And just kind of being with them really helped. What do you make of the way that the depth has developed around some of you guys who are out in the spring? I used to guess that that's some guys who were named up now. You know, I, we've said it uh, in this room, it's anything could happen. You know, I went down, Bryce had to step up. And that's, I feel like right now we're really good at depth. And if, next man up mentality. If someone's not cutting it and they're not doing what their job, they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, it's got to be next man up. And that just pushes everyone in the ones and twos that, okay, I got to keep going because the person behind me can take my spot if I'm not doing my job. How much mixing and matching does Raiola do just because of the NFL background? He's used to only having like seven linemen in the NFL roster. Yeah, you know, we, we mix some people up. Uh, people are going down with like, you know, early in camp with cramps or something like that. You'll see some mixing up. Uh, it, it's just kind of depending on what kind of plays we're running, what scheme we're running, when he's going to be mixing people, who he needs, when he needs them. Just kind of like that. Mark, so oh, yeah. Uh, it's important. It is, you know, we're a unit, we're a family, this whole team. And we've had meetings on meetings on meetings about how this, this team can't just be a team. It can't just be that. It needs to be a family. And guys being around each other and just kind of supporting them and knowing what they're going through, it's just so like vital to get somebody through that tough part in their life. Anyone, really, you know, uh, if I were to go down, I know that like there's at least three people that could come up. If I know that left guard, right tackle, anybody goes down, I know that there's guys in this entire offensive line group that can just come up and fill that spot. What kind of tests have O'Shawn and Garrett and Caleb and those guys given you tackles in Tampa? You know, they're pretty good. And uh, it it gives me, you know, <laughs> a lot to work on. You know, coming back and start, starting to play football, okay, I'm going against Garrett. Okay, I'm going against O'Shawn. Those guys who are elite pass rushers, in my opinion, I think it just kind of helps improve my game, and then hopefully I'm giving them a good enough look so that their game's being increased also. Is Ochan different than what you've had before on this team the last couple of years? Yeah, yeah. Um, I would, I, you know, him and Caleb are kind of kind of similar with the way that they play. Uh, I think Ochan definitely brings a new element of, like, you know, can get out into space kind of where some guys couldn't be able to. I think Ochan has that element to be a bit more mobile like that.
Well, you know, me and Turner went through the whole spring together out, and uh, Rayola is one of those guys where if you're out, you're not out. You know, you're still involved. You need to be involved with everything that we're doing because, you, you know, it's like you have – if you can understand from a coaching perspective, almost like a coaching perspective, then you're going to understand. If you can communicate what you're supposed to be doing, you're going to be able to do it. And it's just – that's just kind of like what that role is if you're hurt or something like that is you need to be engaged in practice and drills watching the same amount of film as everybody else so there's really the only drop off is the physical part mentally you're still fully engaged like you're at practice like you're practicing you saw Turner practice last week how was he looking before good you know he's looking good uh, uh, I know he's not too thrilled about his situation but I know he's he's uh, getting through it going to be back soon and he's doing good Um, you know, the adjustment, they, they did a good job of when we, when Rayola got in here, we started drilling right away. And uh, <clears throat> the adjustment was early, early. We had, we had to be adjusted early. So before spring ball even, we were adjusted to it. So it's now more of a consistency thing, keeping that if you get, you know, if you're getting tired or going on a six, eight, ten play long drive, you know, you have to be consistent with what you're doing. And consistency, you know, it builds trust amongst the line, amongst the backs. That they see that, okay, consistently, this is the look I'm going to be getting. That's, you know, where I'm going to be hitting that hole. So just consistency is one of the biggest things that we have to work on right now. It seems like Donovan has something detailed and constructive to, to say to you guys after every single rep. Maybe that's every note. Yeah. What, is, what does that do for you guys? You know, he's just a really good communicator. And, uh, you know, sometimes it could be like, some harsh thing, but like nothing ever too crazy. You know, he's going to make sure that he's not talking like babying you almost. He's not going to just comfort you. He's going to make sure to give you tough love, say this is what you need to do, and over communicate it so that you can fully understand it. If you're not understanding, that's where it's our responsibility to ask the questions. Hey, what am I supposed to be doing here? I don't fully understand. Can you explain that? And he'll explain it. Scott said last week that. Uh, I'd say pocket presence, you know, uh, all the quarterbacks, they do a pretty good job of, you know, where, knowing where they need to be in the pocket. Sometimes they'll scramble, but, you know, I think that Casey does a good job of kind of knowing where he needs to be in that pocket. And we know, so we watch film, you know, okay, Casey's going to be here. This is where our body needs to be on this block. And he just does a good job of that. Nick Hendricks said he was uh, impressed with the way the running backs were uh, mm -hmm. carrying the ball yeah. in that scrimmage on Saturday. Yeah. How do you feel like the, the running game looked in that, and what are you hoping to show the next time you guys get out there for scrimmage? Oh, you know, that running game was awesome. And uh, I felt really good about the uh, running backs because I've always felt good about this group of running backs. Uh, had some injury with them last season, but I think right now where we're at with those guys is the sky's the limit for them this season. And I think next scrimmage, we just kind of have to go out and do the same thing, consistency. I, I mean, you can't just do it one time. You have to do it every time. That notion that you know where Casey's going to be, how does that make your job easier? Well, I, you know, depending on how many drops he's taken, I know if he's taken three, where my body needs to be so that I can't overset or something like that. I just, it, it just helps because, you know, if I know where the quarterback is, I know where my body needs to be lined up to stop defenders from getting to him.